be sure to check out my Vivi and Omi investors group in the description down below. Together we build generational wealth and go over everything you need to be profitable in the VV markets. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video. And this one, we're going to be checking out the, the Diamond Hands King himself, yo. This man, <laughs> this man, the Dogecoin millionaire, man, this man has... He held through Dogecoin, yo. He was up like over 2 million. I had looked and he was up over 2 million one time. Then Dogecoin went back down because he said he was going to diamond hand until it hit a dollar. And obviously it has yet to hit a dollar. So this man has been diamond handing the whole time and to watch it go up and go down. Like, I don't know what type of research he did into Dogecoin, but he's the diamond hand king right now. And he's actually invested $50,000 into the Omi token. So this this is interesting because I want to hear his research, some of the stuff that he's done, because there's a lot of there's a lot of FUD going around the community, a lot of concern when it comes down to, to the buybacks and things like this. A lot of people are concerned. But um, yeah, I mean, this guy, this guy is the diamond hand king. So I want to hear what type of information he has, yo. What's going on, guys? Protodoge here. And today we are in my new house. This is my new bedroom. Way mm. bigger than my entire place back in uh, L.A. And, uh, yeah, today I want to talk to you guys about Omi because I'm an Omi homie. And, right. no, they did not pay me to talk to you guys about them. I just am heavily invested in them. And It's crazy. People always think that if you say positive things about the, the company, the project, that you're getting paid to do it. People don't realize that we're all in the same position. Everyone has just done different levels of research like everyone is is profiting more because of the information that we know because of the circle we surround ourselves by if you look at people's circle like if, if you look at if, if if there's like if there's all negative people in your circle all bearish people if you have surrounded by five bear, bearish people you're probably going to be the sixth one just like if you're surrounded by five bullish people you're probably going to be the sixth one it's just it, it just works like that you are what you consume if you're only consuming negativity you're going to feel negative towards the project which is why I make sure my energy is is I keep my energy preserved and safe and away from all the all, all the drama, all the, the 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 negativity and things like that. While I do troll on the internet and stuff like that sometimes, literally when I jump on the social media, say what I gotta say, I'm I'm right off. Like it's not that big of a deal to me anymore. Um it's it's not I've just been really protecting my energy lately. So yeah, I mean, and your life changes when you do that, man. I guarantee you, your life changes if you do that. Change your mindset. In the VV network and what I think they're doing with the VV platform. So I'd like to talk to you about Omi now for the extent of this video and kind mm -hmm. of share some of the things that I know about it and why I'm so bullish on Omi. Okay, so before we get started, oh. make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and all that good stuff, so you don't miss any more of my future videos because there's gonna be plenty more. I'm gonna start doing videos. I'm trying to do videos every single day. You know what I mean? Like okay. we're we're in Vegas now, baby. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I gotta I gotta grind to pay to to, to, to paste for stuff now. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? So. My man's got to get them them bills paid, man. So my man's going to be grinding. Like, he's going to get on this YouTube ground. That's crazy. He's going to be a millionaire. He's going to be a millionaire from Dogecoin. He's going to be a millionaire from Omi Token. And then he's going to be a millionaire from YouTube, bro. Go ahead. Get that money, bro. Do your thing. Because that that's that's how you grind. Like, And what's crazy is this man's life completely changed when he's changed his circle. You realize that? As soon as he got surrounded by Andre Jig, um, freaking Graham Stephan and those guys, he got surrounded by millionaires and look at his life ever since, yo. Um, he, he's just kept leveling up and elevating. Whatever you want to say about the man, he's crazy for holding Dogecoin, whatever. Like that that elevated him. Like, because he met the right people to get him in the right mindset, and then now he's learning, he's improving, and he's growing as a person. That's why your circle is so important, man. If you want to continue. To be around people who are not helping you grow, who are not bringing value to your life. Because the fact of the matter is, let's say, let's say you get caught up into a scam or something like that, man. Like, like worst case scenario, you get caught up into a scam. I mean, ain't nothing that you can do about getting caught into it. You're caught. Like, so what do you do now? It's time for next steps. Not, not about, not about what you shouldn't have did back then and all that type of stuff. What's next? What do you do now if you feel you're in a position, a tough position? Like a lot of people just can't move forward. Like they can't keep pushing forward. It's like, yo, you have to be able to man up, accept the position that you're in right now and and, and realize that you can do, you can get out of that position as long as you put your heart into it, put your drive into it and just keep working, bro. You can get yourself out of any position. It doesn't matter what that position is. Any case, let's talk about Omi 
So what is OMI? So OMI is actually short for Ecomi, and Ecomi is a Singapore-based technology company that is in the digital collectible space, right? So they created Vivi. And Vivi, I actually I talked that. about Vivi in the last video. Vivi is a marketplace where they sell NFTs that they have licenses with big names like Disney, Marvel, 007, uh, DC Comics, uh, Coca-Cola, USPS, uh, yeah. Ghostbusters, Universal, like you name it. You know what I'm saying? They've, they've got licenses. So Comey is actually the utility coin that's behind Vivi, right? So... When I say I'm heavily invested in OMI, it's because I'm heavily invested in what they created and what they made with Vivi and how I see that happening and how I see that just getting bigger and bigger in the future, right? Because I see NFTs becoming a big thing here in the next couple of years. I see collectibles in that space becoming a big thing. I see people investing more and more money in that. And Vivi is just a great platform, right? So... And look at how he's saying he he sees this this space elevating and sees where it's going, man. Um, that sounds like that sounds like someone forward looking, someone who's surrounded by people who look forward. And obviously, we know he's who he's surrounded by, Andre Jick, and and we we see he's surrounded by millionaires and successful people who always are moving forward and elevating. So as you can see, his mindset is is on moving forward and elevating. And from from my knowledge, it started with Dogecoin for him. So that like that Dogecoin investment changed his life. And then he's constantly been pushing forward and elevating since. I like I have so much respect for this guy, man. Like I, I have so much respect, respect and appreciation for his journey and what he's been able to accomplish, yo. Because the, this, this anyone can do what he's doing, and he's 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 showing he's he's showing his journey. He's showing his growth throughout everything that he does. So yeah, shout out to shout out to my man, yo. I personally have invested about fifty thousand dollars in Ecomi. I'm an Omi homie now. You know what I mean. This was right before they integrated with the Ethereum network, which they have now. And I don't know, you know, I've heard there's rumors that they might be partnering with Coinbase. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, there's rumors that, you know, they're going to be having the, the, the ability for you to change out the gems. And gems, if you don't know, is what you use in the VV app to be able to buy and sell collectibles. So a dollar is equal to one gem, right? So you can you can buy plenty gems in on the platform and, and buy NFTs, but you can't actually sell those for back to dollars, right? It's still in the app. So they're creating a way for you to be able to take that out of the app in the future. And Omi is going to be replacing the gems in order for you to buy and sell things, which is going to give it even more utility and have it go up in price because of that, right? So I'm very bullish on Omi. I'm very bullish on VV. I'm very bullish on NFTs. And I feel like everything is taking a dip right now. You know, the crypto market is just in the dumps right now. Um, we, we saw pullbacks from Bitcoin, pullbacks from Ethereum, you know what I mean? And, you know, with that, everything else kind of suffers. So does that mean that NFTs are going away anytime soon? No, NFTs are here to stay and NFTs are only going to grow, mm. you know, in, in relevancy and popularity here in the near future. And coins like Ecomi are going to be successful because of it. So... If you guys want to get into the NFT space, I would say do your own research. I would say look these things up. You know, you can also get NF NFTs on OpenSea. I have plenty of NFTs on OpenSea as well. Um, I have NFTs, obviously, on Vivi. I have NFTs on the Cardano, cnft.com. That's the Cardano NFT marketplace. So, you know, just, just look around, see what you like, see what you're interested in. I would say don't just buy an NFT just because you want to flip it to make some money. Buy something that you actually genuinely like. Like, for example, what I have in the Vivi app, I have um, Steamboat Willie, which is like uh, the Bro. first you know, NFTs that are Mickey Mouse statues. Um, I'm, I love those, you know what I mean? Like, I'm personally a huge fan of Disney, so I don't mind holding it if it takes forever to, for the price to go up. I'm not doing it just, just to flip it, just so the price will go crazy. Um, I also got Superman, which is actually my favorite superhero. I got two Superman um, NFTs over there. I got the Todd, which is the very first Batman NFT. And not only that, but it's the first NFT in the VV marketplace. So if you, if you got in VV really early, like last year, you know, you've already made a really good amount of money. Not only that, but if you got in on Omi, you know, early on last year, you made a good amount of money as well. So these things take time to grow. These things, you know, these things take time to 
to, to, you know, do their thing and just grow and just, you know, take over the marketplace. And I feel like Ecomi's really good. I feel like Vivi's really good. And that's just kind of my thing, you know? Um, the first person to introduce me to Ecomi and the Vivi uh, platform and everything was Andre. So shout out to yes. Andre for that. And ever since then, you know, we've been going back and forth about collectibles. Like, hey man, which, you know, he got the Spider-Man one. I was late on that. I'm not going to buy it now. It's way too high. Uh, he got, you know, the partner statue, which is the Walt Disney and, and Mickey Mouse one, which I'm envious of. He's got a few of those and, and I want to at least get one. But now that's up in price, too. And so, you know, if you're if you're bullish in the crypto space, if you're bullish in the NFT space, do your own research and figure out what works for you and buy into what you want. It is very important that you do your own research and you only buy into things that you know and understand. Because if you are going based off of someone else's convictions, you don't have that same conviction. Like that that's the one thing that I was talking to somebody in the comment section about when they were complaining about how I, I told I told my subscribers that you're not us. You're not us as the YouTubers and things like that. Like I, I made a statement along those lines where I've said, Y'all not us. And the, the, it's a fact. The fact of the matter is, if you're investing based off of what we do, that means that if we're staying calm when, when stuff is looking bad, why are you panicking? You can't choose to follow what we do when things are going perfectly. Then when it gets bad, you're like, no, I'm not going to follow what they're doing no more. It's like, we're calm for a reason. We're chilling for a reason. You want to, like, then then that's when the speculation starts. Oh, the, the, the YouTubers are getting paid behind the scenes and stuff like that. It's like, bro, come on now. You would rather believe a conspiracy theory than just accept the fact that you could be a good investor if you just become knowledgeable about what you're doing bro like this is why you don't follow nobody you should have your own conviction there's a lot of like all of us youtube before we was youtubers we had our what well, not me personally like they, it was a lot of youtubers who have came up after like my whole youtube journey in, in in this community has been documented like literally for my first video that was me learning this project so literally you can go back to my first video and see my whole journey to where i've gone become now and, and how much I've learned now. But a lot of YouTubers had this conviction. They did their own research way before they were ever YouTubers. But I kind of grew with this community and learned as I as I was going. So, um, and yeah, and I, I think that that's, that's really the been the beauty of my journey, man. It's just been being able to actually to grow with the project and understand it a lot better as I continue to be in the community, continue to talk to people a lot smarter than me and, and to hear the team speak and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I've been here through a lot, man. And and I feel like once you once you've been through enough in the community, once you've talked to the right people, everyone gets that conviction. But you have to be putting in the work. You can't just come home from work, watch a YouTube video, and think you're gonna have the same conviction as somebody who's been talking to a bunch of different millionaires and people who who I never would have thought I would ever have conversations with in my life, let alone on a daily basis, I have contact to these people. It's it's just it changes things. It changes your life, changes your perspective, the way that you think. And yeah. I mean, obviously, all my habits are not changed, but a lot of a lot I gain a lot from from the people that that are close to me. Um, so yeah. So yeah, today's just pretty short video. I just want to talk about Ecomi a little bit and why I think Omi is an incredible utility coin. Like I said, they did not pay me to talk to you guys about them. This is just something I'm heavily invested in, and obviously. I bought it a little high, you know what I mean? I should have bought it right now, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah, guys, that's what I have for y'all today. Uh, pretty much it. But before we get into my portfolio, I do want to let you guys know that I do have merchandise and you guys can go check that out if you want. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Make sure to get the merch at www.thedogecoinmillionaire.com. Different colors, different sizes. The link is in the description section. Thank you so much if you got some. And if you didn't, that's okay too. Um, right here, I'm going to show you guys my portfolio. I'll show you guys the ups. I'll show you guys the downs. I'm still bullish on Doge as always. Dogecoin is going to take over in the future. And, you know, I'm sure people are looking at me now like, you're wrong, bro. Dogecoin is at all time. Well, it's not all time low, but Dogecoin is really low right now. Yeah, I understand that. That's part of being in crypto. Like it goes up, it goes down. You know, if you bought Bitcoin at a thousand bucks, saw it go up to seventeen thousand or however high it went at you know at that point, and saw it go all the way back down to three thousand dollars, you'd have been like, oh, that's it. That's it for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is done. Three thousand bucks, and you guys saw what happened last year, right? So same thing with Dogecoin. You know, I'm still very bullish on it, and I feel like it'll do well in the future. So. Yeah. Um, before we to be fair, it is the first meme coin, so you can have all these meme coins having their time and stuff like that. But 
It's the OG. It's the older one. And people people respect. It, it has more respect than a lot of these meme coins will ever get because it was the first. So, I mean, yeah. You get to my portfolio. That's about it, actually. We can get we can get to my portfolio now. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Finger guns. All right, guys. So here's my portfolio. We are up five hundred and fifty four dollars in the past hour. In the past day, we're up almost eight thousand dollars. In the past week, we're actually down fourteen thousand. In the past month, we are down eighty five thousand dollars. In the past three months, we're down one hundred eighty two thousand dollars. In the past year, we're up two hundred ninety four thousand. And of all time, we are up three hundred fifty thousand dollars. And currently, my portfolio is at. You know, 488,000. This is not the same Dogecoin one? Is this his Dogecoin? One? So, almost, almost half a million Omi. dollars like, there, right? Omi ain't on so that. So, how my Doge Doge doing today? Uh, 12.5 cents right now. I thought my man's was had over 2 million. Like, what? And, um, you know, if you had a held Dogecoin a few years ago, you would have never in a million years thought that Dogecoin would be able to get to 12.5 cents. I'll just be honest with you. Because it was sitting below a penny for so long. But, um, yeah, so we're up right now in the past hour. Today we're up a little bit down. Okay, so it looks like he's getting into Dogecoin. Yeah, I don't care about none of that, really. None of that, really. Yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, man. Um, there we have it, man. That was the video. This was actually a pretty good video. I liked hearing his perspective and I like seeing his growth, man. I like seeing people elevate, um, become better and, and just get into a better situation, into a better position, because that's very inspiring for me who's still grinding and still constantly leveling up myself. So I definitely have a lot of respect for his journey and what he's been able to accomplish, man. I, I love seeing his growth. So yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below, man. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications so you stay updated with everything going on. And yeah, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, Joe.